I've just been served a threat from Victoria Police that if I do not remove a report I made last year, I face up to two years in jail. But thanks to your help at avilegalfund.com, we've retained the top media lawyer in the country to ensure that no, I don't have to cower and no, I'm not going to remove the video. In fact, I think every Australian needs to watch what Victoria Police don't want you to see. We are giving you an opportunity, five or ten minutes, to leave the area. In May of last year, Nick Patterson and a group of his mates were ordered to move on from a protest. And, well, they complied. And as I was walking away, police ambushed them, coming across the road and assaulting them. I went to jail for 29 days for defending my mate from being assaulted. I shouldn't have gone to jail for 29 days. They wanted to keep me in jail for, for potentially years until trial. They were happy to do that. That's the sort of treatment that you get from this system. It's got to change. We want it to end. Um, and we want those, those criminals brought to justice. Public opinion wasn't really on his side until we did our report, until you, the public, got to see the truth. If we don't stop them from what they're doing, the way that they're trying to cover up the truth, we don't expose them, okay, and they win, they're going to continue to viol violently assault the people continue to put people in jail and purge your statements and put people in jail when they haven't done anything wrong. And this has to stop. This, this is absolutely, you know, completely imperative that we stop them from doing that. You'd think that after the public had found out what really happened that day, police would, you know, maybe withdraw the charges, even apologise to Nick and his friends, but no, they've doubled down. Nick's fighting his case in the courts. But last week, I was served by Victoria Police. A threat, which they called a notification of an apparent breach of the Surveillance Act. Highlighted in the threat is the two year maximum jail penalty. Makes you wonder why police are going to such lengths to bully us out of a news report. Nick, why do you think it is that out of the hundreds of reports that I've filed and many including police body cam. Why this case specifically do you think that they're threatening me with two years jail? Well, because they've really stuffed up. They've, they've committed acts of perjury and I'm gonna speak the truth about it. They've lied and their conduct's been atrocious and we could bring them down. They don't want people to see it. They're already losing the public support and it's justified because what they've been doing is, is atrocious. I mean, when, when 20 police run across the road and, and start throwing punches for following the direction that you were given from another group of police officers, and then they lie and they perjure their statements and say that, that we violently assaulted them when they actually assaulted us, then they put me in jail and all the rest of it just shows the system's completely broken. Police need to go to jail and we're coming for them. And they know we're coming for them. So this is their way to, um, to try and defend themselves. When I got this threat, we immediately retained the top media lawyer in the country. Firstly, to find out if we had done anything wrong. And secondly, just to have our backs. Because I know one thing I've learned in the last couple of years is when someone tries to bully you, the only way to beat them is to stand up and defend yourself. And that's exactly what we're doing. Because as expected, we did nothing wrong. At Rebel News, we make sure to always work within the law. We challenge anyone, no matter who they are, we hold them accountable. And having a gun and a badge doesn't protect you from scrutiny. Justin Quill has let police know that we will not be removing that video. In fact, go watch and share it. Show people what happened in the name of health in Victoria in the last two years. They know they've stuffed up. It's, so instead of being an honourable man and, and, and being honourable men and women and saying, look, you know, we stuffed up, we did the wrong thing. No, they, they can't do that. It's like the truth isn't in them, right? So what they're going to do is they're going to try to cover it up, cover it up, cover it up, rather than, you know, um, compensate me. Instead of doing that, they're going to go after the truth. They're going to try just to st keep the lie going. At the end of the day, it's up to you if you take it down. I'm grateful that you're not because I think it's a, it's a matter of public interest that the people see the violent assaults from the police and they see what they're doing, they see what they're, you know, you're basically doing real journalism, Harvey. 
you're one of the only ones doing it. This is what the police are doing. They're running across the road assaulting people who have been told to leave the area and as they're leaving the area they're being assaulted. You're showing it and the police don't want you to show that because they know they're wrong. On one of your bail conditions originally before you managed to get them um, changed your original bail conditions that had you released said you weren't allowed to talk about police. Yes. Which I think is very relevant to this because from the beginning with regards to your case, they've been trying so hard to stop you and now stop us from shining light on police conduct during the lockdowns. Yeah, I mean, imagine a world where the people with the guns, the people with the authority, the people with the knowledge of how the system works could use that system to violently assault people, to violently hurt people, to put them in jail without any, any kind of recourse. Like I said, there's no way we are deleting that report. We did nothing wrong. In fact, that's what journalism is. And we need more of it in Australia to shine a light in the darkest places of our city. But none of this is possible without your help. RVLegalFund.com Help ensure that when bullies come for us and try to stop you from seeing the other side of the story, the truth, well, we never have to back down. You know, what's interesting is the fact that they're going to all this effort to suppress the truth of what happened that day, but it's gonna backfire now because we did get legal advice from the top media lawyer in the country. So the irony here is now because the police threatened me with two years jail, even more people are now going to see what happened to you. What would you say to that? God bless you, Harvey. I love the work that you're doing and um, we're going to win because we're not going to quit and the, and the truth always prevails. Well, I'd, I'd, I'd add to that, God bless the stupidity of uh, whoever thought of that idea of threatening rebel news. Oh, it's a blessing. It definitely is. Yeah. If you enjoyed this report, make sure to like, comment and most importantly, share it far and wide. Help us make sure that this backfires for police. Send them a message. When you try to bully us out of showing the truth, well, it's only going to cause more people to see it. Then if you're able and you're willing, please head over to avilegalfund.com and give what you can. Most people don't know this, but my personal legal bill in the last year alone has been hundreds of thousands of dollars. We retain the top lawyers to fight for us because we don't allow people to bully us. Last year we were bullied from gangland lawyers to police. And this year it's the beginning, only 2022, the first month and they're already starting. So we need your help to ensure we can win. And so far, every single time we have one, we've never, ever removed one of our stories, no matter which bully has tried. With your help, avilegalfund.com. This year will be no different, only we'll bring you even more.